Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Healing Intuition. Um, I am here to help you create a happy, healthy, and wealthy life. Thank you so much for being here. Um, for all the likes, shares, and subscribes, everyone who is booking personal readings and sending in donations, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, we're just going to do a quick little pick a card. Happy Monday, or for some of you, I know it's already Tuesday. Um, happy Tuesday to you. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so let's grab a couple cards to choose from. Um, woo, over the weekend there was some serious, uh, there was some serious energy, let me tell you, and it did not feel good. Let me also tell you that. So, um, if you were concerned about things, understand that you're not alone. I also had to be like, what is happening? <laughs> what is going on especially considering some things that had shifted for me over the last couple days um it was a little concerning so anyways but uh <laughs> all right let's get some cards to choose from there's definitely some um i, f I like i just keep hearing like judgment like judgment day or something like that there um there's some there's some things like that going on here. Um, oh, I thought for sure they wanted me to choose from this deck, but apparently not. Apparently not. So this one. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, so now it makes sense. So they had me shoveling the as above deck to uh, shoveling, shuffling to kind of pull in that energy of like it was kind of like judgment. Um, so, uh, I don't know. Um, like, how did you handle that energy? Did you succumb to whatever it may have been, right? Uh, did you fall backwards? Did you go backwards? Did you resort to things like something like something like a last resort or something like that? I don't know. Um, interesting. I can feel very much so that they don't really want me to use cards, but um, What am I going to use for you to choose your piles? Um, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Pile one is going to be the seven of swords right here. And pile two is going to be the page of cups. Pile one, if you chose the seven of swords. So uh, pile one, there is somebody who is like digging so deep into you. Um, this is almost too, like they're digging so deep into you. This is somebody that's fairly new. Um, this is not somebody, because anyone from your past has already attempted this, right? So this is somebody who is fairly new. They're trying to dig very deep into um, into you, right? Uh, but it's but the reason is is because they want to make themselves feel better. They want to make themselves look better. They want to whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, there's an energy of somebody just like really looking into um, into you 
in order to um, either create an illusion or continue an illusion um, that maybe somebody is trying to. And the reason that they're placing this around you or around your name or trying to pass this off this way is because um, they felt the judgment this weekend, right? There was some sort of um, like something that came to pass last week or, uh, you know, um, something along those lines. Um, and there and and they felt it right they felt it and um and so they need some sort of like looking for some sort of story some sort of something to continue this um it's almost to justify their actions to justify who they like their projection of what they've projected onto you or what they their opinion of you or the judgment that they made towards you right um this came back to them very quickly i'm hearing like rapidly like it was like they passed this judgment and they passed it to other people right they shared it with other people they didn't just have this judgment um about you and, and kept it to themselves. They had this judgment about you and shared it with others in such a way where it's like, um, you know, like a gossipy manner, right? Um, there's something about not understanding or, or something along those lines. Anyways, so um, this person, you might continue to feel them in your energy a little bit. Uh, as they t continue to do some some back I'm hearing like maybe somebody's doing like some sort of background check or some sort of like back history or something like that um, and it's literally like I don't even know that like you're not gonna feel any repercussions from this there's nothing that's gonna come of this other than they want to justify it for themselves. They want to, um, because I think that they have been reprimanded by the Most High and they're, they're unsure of why, right? They're unsure of now it's kind of got them looking at you in a different type of way, right? Um, they're trying to understand because everything that they've known up until now is is not you know what I mean like you have this different light you have this different energy you have this um, there's something different about you right because they you know they've done this their whole life right they've they and, and nothing is you know there's been no uh, repercussions I'm hearing right and the minute that they do the same thing right um, towards you or about you or something along those lines uh, it's like they've been cut down, like they have been, um, you know, like the rug has been pulled out from underneath them or something along those lines. Um, and they, and it's like, they've got to know why I've got to know why, uh, yeah, there's something about you pile one that's, uh, that you have this deep. Uh, wisdom right that's something that's um, something that's very deep it's very um, and and here's the thing is you can see right through people right you can see right through the dark okay um, and and you still spread your wings right you still have this light you still um, you know but but on another note here I want you to know that there are some things that are kind of lining up for you right um, the stars are aligning here. Things are kind of lining up for you in a way. So expect some sort of um, opportunity or something along those lines. You may get some sort of messages in your dream about this, whatever's coming towards you. So definitely pay attention to your dreams. Um, but be aware of some new connections or some some like connections that may be trying to come back around. 
okay? Um, now we're jumping back to maybe somebody from your past that might be trying to come back around here. Um, you know, they're, I think they're trying to get you all caught up in a, in a web here and maybe trying to get you to go, you know, back to sleep or, or just keep you still or not moving or, or whatever it may be, okay? This is somebody who watches you very closely, all right? Um, but understand that you're very protected, okay? Um, like, I feel like this energy, you don't really need to do much. They're going to be chased away by your ancestors anyways, okay? By your guides, by whoever it may be, your angels, whatever it is, um, you know, uh, as long as you continue to stay within your authenticity here, okay? Um, you can really stand up to anyone at this point, right? Your energy is, um, you're very much aligned with your higher self, and, and your, your intentions, your goals, your aspirations, your dreams, all of these things. And, um, you know, there's, there's no need to, to worry, um, about this. Okay. Allow the process, right? Keep moving forward. Keep doing what you're supposed to be doing. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm hearing this person might find what they what they what they're looking for and what they want to find right now we're jumping back to the new person okay um you know that's that's what it makes me feel like this old person is just in and out in and out like there's no you know what i'm saying like there's no real uh there's nothing serious that you need to do or any you know what i'm saying and if if they're not in and out then they're meant to stay this time okay understand that as well Okay, just be you, keep up your boundaries, stay strong, remain disciplined, and whoever's meant to, meant to stay will stay, all right? Whoever's meant to go will go, and that's it. But anyway, so back to this new person. Again, I think they might find what they're looking for, right? But here's another thing is when they find what they're looking for, I think that they might find that, uh, that they were wrong, about your intentions, about who you are, right? They might find that their belief system is a little corrupt. And they might find that whatever it is that you have to offer or whatever it is that you are bringing to the table is actually um, of the light. It is um, beneficial. It is something that's very helpful and um, you know, I, I feel very much so. Yeah. So I almost feel like your ancestors might actually just uh, put this information right in front of them. Just, there you go. And, um, and, and, uh, yeah, I think that they might be, they, after that, they might start questioning themselves. That's very interesting. Clear messages for pile one, please. <laughs> so we've got listening and we've got abundance here. Yeah. So the abundance is just kind of like reconfirming. There's something that's uh, that's lining up here, okay? Abundance doesn't have to be financial abundance, but I feel like pile one for a lot of you, it really does feel like that might be something that is um, on the mind, right? On the brain, uh, something that you're thinking about. Make sure that you're not thinking about it too much because then you might be resisting it, correct? Um, by wondering about it, you're putting out the energy that you don't have it. Yeah, and so uh, that is how you attract none. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hate to laugh, but like that's how, that is how, you know, you're just putting off this energy of like that I don't have it. And so that's going to recreate, it's going to re-manifest itself. Yeah, you don't have to be spending a lot of money to put off the energy that you have it. Right? Uh, just try to find that vibration. Imagine somebody handing you a $10,000 check, right? Imagine that over and over and over again. And not just imagining it, right? Not just visualizing it, but also 
feeling how you would feel if somebody handed you a $10,000 check. How would that make you feel? Sit in that energy for a while, multiple times a day, okay? Um, there are a lot, a lot, that I'm hearing there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of noise. So there's a, like, look at all these bubbles in, in these cards. I feel like you are surrounded by so many guides right now, okay? Um, for some of you, not all of them have your best interest at heart, okay? Um, so make sure that you are being very careful when you open yourself up to listen to these guides, okay? But for, but for most of you, they're all there, divinely guided, there to protect you, there to give you the information that you need, all of these things. That was maybe for like a handful of people that needed to know um, that some of them have been sent there to throw you off because you open yourself up to them because you haven't been super precautious about how you open yourself up to and who you open yourself up to, right? It's all about your intentions, okay? Uh, make sure that you are setting the correct intentions when you're doing this. Anyways, um, something about the next, uh, I feel like the next moon cycle is the, the new moon, okay? Um, I think it's a new moon in Leo, maybe on the 31st, I feel like. Um, around that time, that weekend, uh, might be very significant, okay? Make sure that you're really listening to your guides every day, but, but you know, between now and then, we're, we're in this Lion's Gate portal right now, um, so we're really creating and manifesting um, with our guides. Anyway, so um, it's super important uh, <laughs> that you listen at this time. I feel like a lot of you do on a daily basis and um, and that's what's bringing in this abundance here. But I feel like a lot of it, it's not like a karmic thing, it's not anything like that. It's literally a vibrational thing that's preventing this abundance from coming towards you. R keeping your vibration high long enough to attract it. All right, let's see. Let's get some advice. for pile one. Some of you were asking a question. The answer is yes. Whatever that question was, if it was a yes or no question, the answer is yes. Whoa. We got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups here. Okay, there's something that makes you very happy um, and very abundant. Um, it also it, it like really taps into your creativity um, or it's just more so, um, I, I'm not sure which side of the brain is the, the, is it the left or the right side? I'm not sure, um, but it feels like you're using more so of that side of the brain when you're doing this. It makes you very happy. You're very confident in, in what it is that you're doing. I also feel like there's a, an energy of um, like more, more confidence, um, like your confidence is growing here. Something about longevity, there's, there, it feels like this has been kind of building up, right? Um, but there's something about longevity with this, right? Um, that's that's coming towards you. So, you know, it, whatever, whatever it is that you are like wanting to know, um, we've got two yeses here, okay? Um, just go for it. 
Just go for it. Let me get one on the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you guys are really in the flow of things. This might also be a, a connection here, okay? Um, we've got the Obamas, which is like the, the divine masculine, divine feminine, the emperor and the empress, okay? Um, ride or die type of situation. Um, soulmates, connection, okay? Um, so if some of you are wondering about a connection, uh, that has recently or will re will come into your um, awareness here pretty quickly. Um, yes, the answer is yes. The answer is go for it, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, but there is somebody, there's somebody outside of this relationship that you need to pay attention to, okay? There's like two, it's like two, it's like a male and a female Jezebel spirit that keeps trying to get in the way, right? Keeps trying to interfere, all right? Be careful. That's why I feel like that's it's very important that you use your discernment and listen to your intuition right now, right? If you don't know the answer, like pray about it, meditate, right? Manifest the answer. You know, write it down. Write down your question and allow that to like let it go, right? Write down the question and then get back to your day and then when you are, and then that answer will come to you. It will just come to you. All right. Okay. All right. That's what I have for you, Pile One. Thank you so much for being here. Um, whoever's still here uh, for Pile One, this is a connection that has taken a lot of resilience. Okay. A lot of strategy, a lot of uh, healing. A lot of, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Anyways. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Uh, let's do... Pile two. If you chose the page of cups. Hmm. I feel like there is somebody who has really done a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking about themselves, a lot of thinking about you, a lot of thinking about others, a lot of thinking about uh, the situation. Like this is somebody who is no, no longer, they're no longer looking for advice or for answers from anyone else besides how they feel inside. Okay. Um, I think before, previously, they probably went elsewhere all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like this is somebody who has progressed, right? Because they are learning that not everyone always has good intentions. Not everyone wants the, what's best for them. Not a, You know what I'm saying? And so they have realized and they have recognized that, um, that they actually have the answers, right? and that they can actually pull these answers from within inside themselves and ask their guides and ask their higher selves, right? They connect, they can connect to mother earth and they can connect to nature and they can find what it is that they need to find by broadening and opening their awareness. Okay. Um, some of them, they are, you know, they, they've been journaling, they've been writing a lot, but they certainly have had you on their mind 
whether this is romantic or not, okay? This could be a friendship, this could be a family member, this could be, you know, I feel like for the majority of you, it probably is romantic, uh, but, but it doesn't have to be, right? So this, say, say pile two that you are somebody that is married, been married, right? Unless if there's been some things going on in your marriage that are kind of rocky or kind of, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, I feel like this might be like a family member or a friend, right? Who maybe you tried to help out before, you tried to give advice to before, and they didn't take it, right? They just wanted, they, they wanted, you wanted to try to help them uh, find the answers on their own, and they just wanted you to feed them the answers, right? Because I feel like pile two, you're very intuitive. You're very tapped in, right? And you were just trying to help this person uh, tap in themselves and find the answers for themselves. And so then they could, they could just grow. And, and, you know, it's like, um, either you, you, you know, teach somebody how to fish or you continue having to fish for them for your, the rest of their lives. You see what I'm saying? That's not exactly how that that phrase goes, but that's exactly what this is, right? You were attempting to teach them how to find the answers on their own and they just weren't doing it. This is somebody who has, you know, I think that you have cut this person off or you have, you know, there's been some sort of separation or something like that. This person I feel like is coming back with some sort of apology because I think that they're recognizing the strength within themselves at this point, right? They've been able to find that access because they had no choice they were left alone <laughs> and so then they were they had to uncover this on them on their own i do feel like there was a time where there was anger and there was resentment and there was um you know whatever it may be uh, but this has this has calmed down right I do feel like also there may have been some sort of uh, attempted sabotage by this person or not necessarily um, in the past. Uh, this is, uh, there's some sort of truth that's being let out here, okay? Some sort of apology in that end also um, that, that you're being, that's being offered to you, some sort of information. Now this information may come to you through your divine guidance or it may actually come to you from the person um, that did this, right? Um, I do feel like they're a little scared to bring it to you, um, to bring you the truth, but um, they're being nudged and actually pushed by your ancestors to do so um, because you personally pile to, you need this clarity. There's something about this clarity that's coming through that you need in order to kind of sort some things out yourself right? I'm just seeing like you've got a bunch of pieces to the puzzle, right? And you've kind of got a, you know, a bunch really in the right place, but it's almost like this clarity comes through and all these pieces just kind of align on them, on them, on their own. And then you're able to see something much more clearly, right? The picture, you're able to see it very clearly because whatever this puzzle is, I don't feel like you have anything to reference, right? A lot of times on the puzzle, you have a box to look at. On this puzzle, you, there's nothing to reference here. Hmm. Yeah, but this person in the past has had some sort of strategy, some sort of, um, you know, plan, right? They, they have a plan. So, some of you, this is a totally different person. I'm talking about two different people here, okay? One person who has realized uh, that they have the answers inside of them and the other person and is no longer going to take advantage of your intuition, right? Because now they found their own. Um, but then there's somebody else who, there's some sort of plan. There's some, you know, the fox is sneaky. The fox is sly. The fox is, uh, you know, swiper, no swiping. So, um, and I think your intuition might have you just turn around real quick right before a swiper tries to swipe. Messages for file two, please.
Yeah, there's somebody that is wanting to like sacrifice you in a way, right? But your intuition is telling you like, nope, we can't go through that door. Like, although it looks really shiny and really, um, really good right now, um, your intuition is telling you, yeah, that's not actually your sacred abyss. Um, what's on the other side of that door is, you know, I feel like maybe, <laughs> I like I'm seeing somebody like shining a light really close to that door, right? So that way it looks really shiny through the cracks. But if you were to go through that door, it would actually be very dark in there is what I'm seeing. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm seeing somebody standing there with like some sort of lantern that has this golden glow, right? And it's like really close. But behind them is this like this black, this like, you know, it, it just, it's like um, going into another hole, if you will. Right, but there's, yeah, there's somebody who is trying to, um, to sacrifice where, where you are, right? Your, your soul, if you will, your, you know what I mean? Trying to put you back to sleep again. Okay. But, you know, I'm, I'm hearing like the eyes are the key, like the windows to the soul. Notice how this, this, this bowl right here has no eyes. This person has no soul or this energy has no soul, right? They need yours to continue on. So things are confusing right now, right? It seems like, you know, um, that there's, there's a lot of different energies and, and I think this is a test of your discernment. It's a test of how well do you trust yourself? It's a test of, um, your faith and, um, you know, I, I hate saying test, let's call it opportunity. It's an opportunity to really use your discernment and to trust yourself and to trust the, the process and the divine and to, um, you know, trust those nudges, right? Messages for pile two, please. Look what came out. Trust. Do I, do I need to say anything else? Right. And then I also said to listen to your intuition, to use your discernment, to listen to yourself. Listen. To listen to your guides. <laughs> yeah. For some of you, uh, it may be a water sign, it may be a fire sign, you may be the other, uh, it doesn't have to be, but it's like in between these two, we've got water and we've got fire right here, in between these two is peace, okay? Um, and that might be significant, right? For some of you. But it does look like maybe the water sign has still kind of got things, you know, the tide looks a little high. You know what I mean? It looks a little rocky. Um, but look inside of them. It looks very clear. It, so maybe around them, there's a lot of things going on around them, right? Um, a lot of, you know, whatever. But, it, but they found this focus with inside of them that kind of has calmed some things down there, right? Um, and with the fire sign, with the fire sign, it seems very calm just in general, right? 
This fire sign has a fire that's, you know, lit inside of them. They're burning, they're moving, they're, you know, um, And I think that regardless of, of the decision that you make in this, you know, whatever, whatever your intuition and your discernment is telling you, there's something about no matter what, continuing to focus on yourself. Yeah, there just seems to be some sort of balance here, okay? And it feels like this energy, some of you, this is just within you, right? Some of you have water, a lot of water and a lot of fire in your chart and you're, you're beginning to feel this peace within you, right? Because you trust yourself, you trust the process, you are listening to your intuition, right? And you are, you're choosing your peace over anything else. And that is kind of what's going to kind of build up this magic, right? It's going to allow this magic to take place. There's something about your angels, your ancestors, your guides, all of these uh, really kind of working behind the scenes here to create something for you, to build something for you. Some of you, this was an opportunity that you just recently ha had and you find, so it's not a person, right? It's an opportunity or something along those lines. And you're finding that, um, yeah, no, no, that was not, <laughs> that's not where I belong. <laughs> uh, yeah, and your intuition is what told you that, right? Want some advice for pile two? Yeah, didn't I just say something about staying focused on yourself, right? What you're building, what you're doing? Yeah, you guys are in some sort of emperor energy, right? Keep going, keep moving. This last weekend might have thrown you off a little bit and there might have been some confusion about, um, you know, yeah, there's, keep going, keep, keep moving. There's some, something about some new opportunities, right, that are coming towards you. This door, you close this door. Honestly, I don't, I don't know that God ever opened this door for you because it, I feel like rejection was God's protection on this one, okay? Um, but I, I do feel like there's some, there's some new opportunities that are coming towards you. All right. As long as you are staying consistent, you're staying persistent, you're, you're staying focused, right? Don't lose sight of yourself. Okay. So some of you, there may be, you know, there may be an, a new opportunity or something like that, um, or a new relationship or something like that. And that, you know, you can trust it. You can use your intuition to, you know, whatever it may be, right? This might be this person that's coming back. Okay. With some sort of apology, some sort of whatever it may be, right? This person has been very focused on you, been very focused on themselves. Um, you know, they might have some sort of, uh, you know, something to add to whatever, whatever it is you want to bring, to whatever it is you're trying to build, right? They might have some ideas, they might have some sort of, you know, but, but, but what you need to know is regardless of whether, do not lose sight of yourself and what you're building and what you're doing and where you're going. But yeah, this person might, they might, you know what I mean? They might really want to work with you on something, okay? So even if this person is in a romantic situation, all right, uh, it could just be a business opportunity, okay? There's, there's some sort of collaboration. There's some sort of something about, you know, 
because I think that maybe some of you have some really good ideas and there may be somebody else that has some really good ideas. Okay, and we're gonna do the same here. But be careful, look, here's another fox right here, okay? So just, again, make sure that you're listening to your intuition, all right? <laughs> I heard, ooh, fox lady. So <laughs> somebody, on the other hand, somebody is very attracted to you, pile two. Mm-hmm. Oh goodness. All right, let me get one on this the emperor and the page of pentacles. Let's get one on there. Yeah. Listen, there's some you know what I mean? Like Prince was somebody that was eccentric and he was different and nobody thought that, you know what I mean? Nobody in his family thought that he could do it, right? Um, and he went through a time where, you know, he had to be knocked down at one point in his life, right? Um, but, but yeah, like it, it's, um, hmm. Oh, wait, I'm not thinking, the, I'm thinking of somebody else. Why am I thinking of, um, I'm thinking of, who? who is it with Queen? That's who I'm thinking of. So that's a whole different thing. That might be, that message, that small little message there might be for somebody else. But anyways, um, there's something about you doing things differently, right? Prince definitely was still that, yeah? had a lot of, uh, just was very soft spoken um, and very um, like to hear, <laughs> it's almost like, I don't know, there's some, it feels like a surprise, like you surprise people or there's something along those lines, right? Um, but, but you're, regardless, you're breaking generational curses here, okay? Um, somebody might, um, I'm thinking about the time, I'm thinking about this episode on New Girl where they ended up at like Prince's house and he was like having this concert and how Nick and, um, and Jess were kind of going at it, but then they like, but then like Prince helped them kind of, um, realign right so I don't know there may be some sort of outside out and it could actually be a child there may be some sort of outside um, energy that is helping mediate something here okay uh, I'm not sure but and it could very well have to do with business, right? We've got Jay-Z at the bottom of the deck, the CEO, right? The businessman, the new, the new version of yourself, right? The number 444 might be very significant here. But again, with the collaboration, I just feel like there's something about working together with one or two, maybe three people um, to really kind of go from rags to riches, to really kind of change the game here, all right? Um, yeah, some of you have this very natural beauty that is, um, yeah, it makes people's knees weak or something like that. <laughs> oh, goodness. There's could be something about being a musician. If some of you have been thinking about music and writing songs and, and things like that, you need to do it, okay? Okay. 
Regardless, pile two, if you're doubting your heart, you have a good heart. And I don't know why you would be doubting your heart, but sometimes people who have a good heart are worried about not. <laughs> uh, because that's your good heart in you, right? That's just how that goes. So, yeah. Um, let me just confirm that for you. Um, but there is this energy. Somebody, you know, somebody would really like lay it out on the line for you, okay? Anyways, this was a very mixed up, jumbled message, right? Things were kind of all over the place. There was one person, you know, there or one opportunity that was, you know, it was like, nope, not doing that, right? Rejection is God's protection. And then there's another one that's very much, you know, given that you continue to stay focused and, and you collaborate with these people, right? Uh, you might actually be extremely successful here in this collaboration, in this uh, whatever it may be, okay? So, whew. all right, that's what I have for you, Pile 2. Thank you so much for being here, and we will see you next time.